Hello and welcome back to Carmston Farm. We are just on the way down to uh, the chicken enclosure. I uh, have made some changes and uh, we'll go and have a look at those now. So then, as I said in the last episode, we... Uh, we weren't doing very well out the chickens that were based here before so um, we've uh, upgraded somewhat now this was uh, in fact let me just have a quick look because I can't remember off the top of my head how much it cost so let's have a look so this was 63,200 pounds and uh, it holds 720 chickens so we have got 720 chickens and uh, yeah it takes a hundred thousand litres of food which was a bit of a shock but um, yeah we've got plenty of barley at the minute we may need to look at possibly swapping out the linseed crop for maybe barley again or sorghum Sorghum's another one that the chickens can eat. So, yeah, it fits quite neatly in here with the fenceless husbandry. The only slight uh, problem is, well, not problem, the trigger is quite far back and close to the gate, so uh, do have to be a little bit persistent with the unloading of a trailer, but, yeah, I'm uh, very happy with it. Should um, bring us in a lot more eggs, which is... Uh, always good more cash which is what we like so yeah spent a little bit more than i thought i was gonna but uh yeah i am very happy with it so next job for today and possibly the last job actually is to head up to the new cow barn and uh, get some straw uh, in there for bedding for the cows they uh we've got tmr left in the mixer wagon so i thought it'd just be easy to uh stick some straw into the blower and uh do it that way so we will head up there now and get that done hello bush and uh, yeah i'll see you in a minute all right then up at the cow barn and hopefully we can get a trigger for this there we go super quite sure how much they're going to take but i think we've probably got plenty in the blower which is fine now on the drive up here i did uh, have a look at uh, field 23 and field 21 and the weeds are pretty bad in there so we may uh, have a look and see if we can get one of those or maybe both uh, sprayed off today I know it said probably the last job, but it won't hurt, I don't think. Get that done. And then at least those fields are uh, done with. So uh, we'll head back, get this put away, and uh, grab the uh, vent and the power sprayer. So, weed spraying commencing in field 23. That was a really weird way of saying we've started spraying herbicide. Um, and uh, I think that this might be the last job that the Fent does now the reason for this is there is a McCormick in the uh, sale for 79k so I'm very tempted to uh, take a look at that but we'll get this headland done first and then we'll catch back so, headland done. Only hit one tree. <laughs> Full disclosure. Um, and I've decided that once uh, we've finished this field, we're going to head down to the dealership. We're going to spec up the McCormick as to how we want it. Good thing about it is, I think it's 240 horsepower, but we can put um, narrow uh, wheels and tyres on it so we can still do jobs like this without destroying the crop no it doesn't at this stage but 
if we need to spray later on or you know that sort of thing we can still put the care wheels on it but also at the same time 240 horsepower is a really good amount and uh, it will come in handy because this little John Deere now at 47.7 hours does tend to struggle with a bit of weight on the back I know it's only a I think it's classed as a medium tractor in the uh, in our own items page but uh, yeah time for a change I think so we'll uh, spin around at the end and get the field done and I will see you down at the dealership right then this is kind of uh, bittersweet but uh, yeah this is one of the well, it is the original tracks that we had alright we've upgraded it a bit over time but yeah right never mind um, let's uh, get it uh, in some form of state to sell so what we're on now 57 so we'll repair it yes we won't bother repainting it I don't think so let's sell that okay now so we've got 62k for that let's go into the sale and this is where it's disappeared I've just sold the tractor no nope. phew still there what else have we got oh, a couple of uh, manure spreaders front loader what's this Ah, mulcher okay right so this is what we want the McCormick X7 VT drive we are going to go with now there was one there we go because I think the I think it was content was it Trillibor that did really I mean they are like bike wheels so we're gonna go Michelin and we'll put the narrow tires on it for now which is good front loader attacher no engine max obviously gps yes main color what have we got Ooh, maroon no uh, we'll leave the rims as black we will pick a different type of plate uh, go for that one cool um, front and back no just the back thank you okay liking that don't need the Assyria Pro compact brilliant so 120k by yes let's uh, get the weight reattached and the power sprayer we may actually repair everything as well and uh, head back up and carry on with the herbicide spraying so we're on the third side of the field around the headland and uh, I'm loving this tractor it just doesn't seem to be struggling quite as much as the Fent which is good same working speed obviously but the engine tone to me anyway sounds different so not like it's uh, struggling as much so uh, yeah we're getting these weeds all killed off let's just take a look at the mini map there we go brilliant just trying to make sure we get everything that's the good thing about the sea and spray you're not constantly dousing the verges in herbicide it's just getting the weeds when it spots them so we'll get the headlands done and we'll get a GPS course set and we'll get this field field all knocked out. So GPS course all set and we are doing the up and down rows. So I've just realised that I said earlier that we might need to plant sorghum but this is a field of wheat. We've got barley in field 23. We've still got, let's just have a quick look in the right menu we've still got eighty four thousand liters of barley in the silo for the chickens until i get an idea i guess of how much they consume uh, a day you know or a month i would want to class it then uh yeah i think we've probably got enough 
crops in the ground to feed them. Failing that, we could buy it if we were really struggling. So, uh, yeah, I think the plan still stands as to uh, what we said last time. Sunflowers in those two fields there. 20 and 22. And then soybeans in two and linseed in six. pass down the field now and uh, yeah it didn't take too long at all which is good now I think we'll get this done we will get the tractor and the sprayer back to the yard let's get that off and let's just check that we got everything no where's that bit then how bizarre, can't actually see anything. Oh. Still a tiny little bit. But uh, yeah, so I'll get these little bits wherever they might be. We'll get this back to the yard, get it emptied, rinsed off, and put away. And then I think that's it for the first part of November. Yeah, all good now, there we go. Um, so we'll rest, we'll move into the second part of November, I don't think there's going to be anything that we urgently need to do, um, we will see how we get on, we'll uh, sell November's produce and uh, then that might be it for the episode, we'll have a shorter one possibly, he says now. There'll be some amazing jobs pop up in the contracts menu now in our look. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. And then next time, we'll be into December, where it's going to be a busy, busy selling month, I think. Right then, everything's cleaned off and put away reasonably neatly, actually. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do us for the day. Let's just have a look at this uh, field, how we're looking. Perfect and good. Okay, I'm all right with that. So, yeah, I will see you in the uh, second part of November. Well, morning. It's uh, nearly quarter to nine. And uh, just down at the new chicken. What should we call it? Coop. There we go. Chicken coop. It says it bottom right corner. Already got a full pallet of eggs. And they consumed... 1500 litres of uh, grain so not too shabby at all they seem uh, reasonably happy which is good let's just go and navigate through these and have a look at the horses look he's having a rest oh sorry disturbed him who's this one willow her there we go give her a clean Right, um, let's grab the truck and uh, get on with selling our produce. Right, well I've got two pallets of butter I think loaded up and we've got another pallet of canola oil. So that is on because the price is still really good for that. So we may as well sell that. 
thought I'd give the uh, truck a bit of a jet wash. Could do with a bit of a touch up in places as well. There we go. Let's put that back. Where has it gone? There we go. And uh, let's go and grab some eggs. So just pulling in to the garden centre and you'll notice the money has gone up. That is because I set the electric charge to selling. So, and we've dropped over the hour. So that is now uh, going to store again for us. So we got the income from that. We've got the slurry processing at the moment and we may, we'll leave that run in like that without the manure activated so we don't take the hit. We've got everything else running nicely. Okay, brilliant. So we can now get this lot sold. So we've got a thousand litres of canola oil, 900 some litres of honey, eggs going in, butter's gone. There we go. Back up over 400k. Love it. There we go. Last of the eggs. 19k? 19.5k? Brilliant. So, I think we'll drop this trailer off. And, uh, I'm not going to film myself going through that gateway again. We'll grab the milk tanker. We'll go and get the milk sold. And then that will be the end of the episode. Right then, all loaded up with the milk from both cow sheds and we are up selling it or going to be selling it at the general store and it's the one funnily enough in here again so there we go very slowly does it must be a fair bit of weight in there let's wait for the trigger to appear and get that sold last couple of thousand litres the 36 36k from that spot on worth doing so let's get around here try not to smash it into the wall and uh, yeah so next time will be a massive selling session i think we are going to be into december i'm going to go away now feed all the animals etc get them all uh, topped up and um yeah well i'll see you in december we'll sell probably not everything we've got it'd be nice to keep some uh potato sugar beet etc etc but um yeah we'll have a good selling session get that bank account as topped up as we can not sure if the silage will be at its best price in december i think that said it would be january but uh yeah we'll uh see how much we can get sold so a shorter episode and this should be out on sunday i think disturbed is still having issues with his laptop and his old one can't run the big uh, green valley map so yeah we're having to pause that for a bit but hopefully we'll be back to it soon so i'll say thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have think about leaving a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time take care